Hello everyone, today is day 29 of our Red Letter Challenge, the 40-day challenge that we at Living Water are taking right now. Today's focus is going to be found in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 35. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. Today, we're going to continue our focus on giving, and today's challenge is to give food to the needy. Um, Something that stuck out to me was the last thing that this uh, writer has said. Um, Well, in the challenge, he he said, uh, whether it's giving it to someone on the side of the street or donating to your local food pantry, be generous Clear out your cupboard or go shopping and collect food for the needy. You can either donate on your own or bring it to your local church to give a a food pantry. Speaking of that, if your local church doesn't have a food pantry box where people can donate food or on a regular basis, tell your pastor you are going to bring one in. Now, here at Living Water, uh, let's coordinate in our um, in our chat to see who's going to be bringing that uh, food tr- pantry box. Because I know you guys, we might end up with 10 of them, <laughs> Lord willing. Uh, so listen, there's nothing wrong with that. We could bring 10 boxes. That's nice. This is what I wanted to read today, and today's uh, verses were found in the book of Kings, Second Kings, chapter 4, verse 1 through 7. Uh, the wife of a man, well, this is not in the uh, scriptures. This is just, a, I guess, a, uh, before it. Oh, no, no, this is chapter 1, sorry. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha. Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that he revered the Lord. But now his creditor is coming to take my two boys as his slaves. Elisha replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a small jar of olive oil. Elisha said, Go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Then go inside and shut the door behind you. And your sons pour oil into all the jars. And as each is filled, put it to the one side. Put it to one side. She left him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They, they brought the jars to her and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, Bring me another one. But he replied, There is not a jar left. Then the olive oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil and pay your debts. You and your sons can live on what is left. Um, This story here clearly points of like, the miracles of God, how he can make what you have be enough to supply the needs. And it just kept flowing, kept flowing. The miracle here was the people in the town giving the jars. We see her coming to her coming to the man of God and the man of God showing her what she needed to do in order to save her children in order to save their family. He gave them a second chance at their life. Um, We see in the scriptures as believers that, um, the importance of life, the importance of what it takes to have life, to receive life. 
for we are supposed to be the light of the world. And if we don't do our jobs, there will be people that can be lost. But we know that we have a mighty God that causes his work to be done in us. That no one that has been given to him shall be lost. So we don't look at it in a sense of God can fail because he cannot fail. But are we doing our part? Are we doing what we have to do as workers in his kingdom to make sure that not a soul is lost? That's what Elisha did here. He knew that this lady's husband, who was no longer with him, was a man of God as well. That loved the Lord. And the miracle rained down from heaven to bless them so that they may not be enslaved. The children, the young boys. So, let's take this opportunity to pick up this challenge to feed the needy, those in need. And if you are hearing this and... You haven't been following Christ. You know you have not been. I urge you. To feed yourself. Pick up your scriptures. Pick up the Bible. And read it. Read it today. Start with a chapter. Start with a few verses. Every day. Pick up that challenge to read. To feed yourself. The bread of life. Uh. I suggest you start in the book of John. Start with the book of John and read it. Read it straight back. Go all the way back to the end of the scriptures. Start at the book of John. The gospel. The good news about Jesus Christ. Um, When you do that, you will be blessed. And may the Lord be with you in everything that you do. And then you can share the gift that God has so desperately put into your hands that you too may be a light in the world. God bless and peace be with you all.